continuation to our series on data intelligence. So today we'll be looking at uh, a new uh, step in this that's called the data operation. And we have an additional step here called data validation that uh, wasn't a part of this earlier. Now it is. Uh, so before we dive into data validation, we'll have to talk a little more about data operation. Um, so what is data operation? Data operation essentially allows you to add an additional step in data, calculate new values if you want from fuse data or standalone data, however you want it. Or um, you can do some historical lookups. Uh, it can be the first step for analysis. And uh, we'll just briefly scratch the surface on that. So just to do a recap here, essentially what is happening over here is you have a data store, you have, um, you have some formatting and cleaning happening for that data. You have some fused data uh, 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 for multiple sources of data. And we had an entire series up till this point here. Now the next step is operations, then we have validation. After this, we have uh, the data check and we check uh, and we will be outputting the payload. Um, we essentially are looking at the data operations here. So let's see what that means. So a more basic example is So we have this kind of data coming out and I wanted an operation for the distance from origin uh, to be calculated. So this is where I would ideally do this between your validation and output. Um, so you essentially just have this section where you're adding the distance in. Uh, this is a pretty simple example. You can add a lot more complex things over here. Um, a more interesting case over here is you can also have historical data lookups. Uh, so how would you do that? So essentially what you would need is if you want a windowed operation, you can run um, a windowed output check here. And so you have a join over here. What this join essentially does is it joins and I wanted a window size of 10. So it joins these 10 uh, payloads coming in together. Uh, you can modify this however you want. You can process the data in it however you want. So now I have this window of 10 and now I can aggregate it together. Um, a system that would be really good for this is um, Danfo. So we have an entire series for Danfo also on our YouTube channel. You can uh, check that out and the great part about this step is now your fusion is completely separated out from your operations. Um, this is a little different uh, from what you see in an ETL process, though it's pretty simple in concept, though it's a completely different step here. So essentially your operations become a layer of its own. So it becomes a lot easier to debug uh, differences in data coming out from like merged entities as against uh, differences um, from output data. Uh, the next step that we have here is the data validation step. The data validation step essentially can be used to validate certain portions of data. So like for example, over here, I just want to make sure that, you know, in this case, how we've calculated, it's always going to be greater than zero. But uh, we are passing the data along only if your distance from origin is greater than zero. Um, it is always going to be greater than zero, but to get an idea, this can be any particular value. And since that is in place, now you're getting outputs on this end. So this is pretty much it, um, for the data validation end. And, um, so beyond this step, we have an output check for formatted data. Uh, you can. So this step essentially just make sure that the end result is completely correct. You can have multiple merges before this. This can be a hierarchical structure. And this is why we felt the need to have a validation layer uh, right after an operation and before a check. 
so that in case you had multiple data sources uh, with multiple operations before a fuse, uh, this pipeline still remains consistent. Um, so this is our uh, today's uh, part of data intelligence. We will be looking at the validation and formatting uh, closer in the next video in the series. Thank you.